Hi, this is Virgo to Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, I have shuffled my cards, I have laid out my spread, so let's see what you have. Uh, two of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Swords, the Empress, Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini, give me a minute. Let me look this over and see what messages Spirit has for you today. Ooh, Gemini. Okay. Well, 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 Gemini. Mm, Gemini, I see you guys are juggling. You have two people here that you're juggling. Some of you are juggling for financial reasons. And you're like pretty much uh, trying to please too many people. And there's another section of you, of you all, who's juggling two relationships. And next to that, you have the Seven of Swords. This is the Deceit card. Either you are deceiving someone or they're deceiving you. Either you're stealing from someone or they're stealing from you. However, I need you to be careful. Be careful of anything that you put in writing because it's definitely going to come back and bite you in the ass. I want you to think logically, not emotionally. Don't get angry and, you know, go off on the deep end trying to hurt somebody because you feel somebody hurt you first. Okay, and next to that, you have the Empress. Now, Gemini, if you are a man and you're dealing with an, uh, this woman, this is, this is this beautiful woman right here. If you are a female Gemini, this is you. And this is a very beautiful woman, loving woman, nurturer. Uh, she could indicate that someone is pregnant. This card could also indicate extremely good fortune. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a beautiful woman who uses what she got to get what she want. Okay, next to that, you have the Ten of Wands. Okay, the Ten of Wands, it, it indicates stress, burdens. Of, you know, somebody's feeling ashamed, embarrassed. They feel like they got played because they was thinking that they had the one. And, and that wasn't the case. So now they're feeling played. They're feeling embarrassed. They're feeling like, you know, they, they feel like they got played. Okay, and next we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, your person works very hard, Gemini. And they enjoy what they do. It brings them a lot of money. Either you or them. The energy could go both ways. And then we have the Knight of Cups. This is a good-looking young person coming towards you with a new offer. A new offer of emotional, physical, sexual relationship. That's going to cause you to fall madly in love. They're going to give you total fulfillment. But then on the next day, you have another man over here. He's the older man. He's the king of swords. He's the older man. He's the one you've been with the longest. He's sharp. He's an entrepreneur. He's even a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person knows. He knows you're cheating. Gemini. He or she. This person knows you're cheating. Now, you know if you're a male, we're talking about your woman. If you're a female, we're talking about your man. If you're same sex, you know, I just suggest accordingly. But this person knows that you're cheating. This is your older person. This is your, your new person. This is the one you've been with. This is the one that came along. He knows that you're cheating. He knows that you have someone else. And Gemini, basically all you want is to focus on your money. You're just focused on your, your, pin, your pinnacles. You're just having fun with this guy over here. And the one you've been with for a long time, he's kind of like boring bore you, but he has you, he has you comfortable. He has you comfortable enough to want to wanna remain with him, to want to stay with him, but you needed some excitement. You needed some more fun. This is why you allowed this Knight of Cups to come in, but he knows that you've been seeing this Knight of Cups. He or she, you know, however it goes, if you're a man, she knows you've been seeing this other young girl. If you're a woman, he knows you've been seeing this young guy, this younger man, younger woman, younger man. But I don't see that you are 
really serious about ruining your relationship to be with the new person. You're just focusing on your money right now. That's the only thing that's on your mind, you know. Mind on your money, money on your mind. You know, this is the Page of Pentacles. This individual, um, this indicates that that you have money coming in that you've been waiting for. This is a payment coming through. This is learning how to increase and multiply and grow your fortune. This person wants to improve themselves in order to improve their finances. This person only cares about their money. They only care about growing and being successful. These relationships are nice and all, but the Empress is only concerned about her income. And if you're a male, the relationships are nice and all, but this is a crazy reading, Gemini. This is a lot of deceit. This is a lot of being sneaky, you know, juggling both of them and nobody really caring. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know, Virgo the Oracle got to bring it as she said. I'm telling you, Gemini, I don't see no love for real. I mean, you like what this, what the young, what the new one is bringing you. You like what the old one gave you. But for real, for real, all you worry about is your pentacles. Okay, you know, you realize that somebody figured you out. Either you was trying to, you know, put away some extra money in the account without letting them know. They found out about it. They thought you was something that you wasn't and they found out about it. But you still remain the lady. You still remain getting exactly what you want. If you're a man, you still remain a gentleman and you still got exactly what you want. You have these two individuals who are in love with you, but for real, for real, the only thing you worried about is your uh, coins. Love be damned. It's like you can take it or leave it. That's what I see, Gemini. Gemini, you guys can take love or leave love because the only love that you really have is your finances. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to pull two oracle cards for you to see what y'all have and what the uh, spirits have to say, what the angels have to say to you all. Okay, Gemini, Gemini said, listen here, I'm tired of this love crap. I just want my money. I'm just all about my coins right now. It says nurture. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for now, for right now. So it wants you to nurture yourself, Gemini. And it seems like that's exactly what you're doing. You're putting yourself first. You're putting your feelings first. You're putting your emotions first. Like I said, you have these two people, but you can take them or leave them. You just really want your money right. That's your main objective right now. But the person that you're with, they know you're seeing somebody else. And you don't care. You know he know. You wanted him to know. He said, I hope you find out. You're just being so cold-blooded and mean to this person. I don't understand why, Gemini. But you're like, I don't care. I wanted you to find out. It don't mean nothing to me. All I'm worried about is my money. Okay. And you have overcoming difficulties. Okay, Gemini, Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Okay, Gemini, that answered your question for you. That the difficulties is over. This is all coming to an end, and it's going to come to the end just the way you want it. You get your finances, because this indicates that there's a payment coming in. There's a payment coming in that you've been waiting for, that you've been asking for, that you've been contemplating. You're going to get the money that you want. And you're going to, you know, move on. Whether you move on by yourself or move in with one of these individuals that has a, that you've been messing with. Or you could just move on without them. But your own, your main objective, uh, Gemini, is just your, your pinnacles. That's all you're worried about. You're worried about um, 
enhancing your your uh, skills to make more money. You know, you're going to continue to work hard. You're going to continue to focus on your money. And anybody who wants to play house with you or wants to play uh, uh, fancy foot feet with you, you know, you like, okay, well, just know I'm just playing. It's just a juggle to me because I'm not really serious about nobody but myself. So that's pretty much what you're going through, Gemini. You could care less about love right now. You just want to focus on your money. Let's see what, uh, what the Archangel Oracle cards have to say about, the Romance Oracle cards have to say about your love life. Okay, all right, all right. They got a lot to say about your love life, okay? This is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Gemini. Okay, so I guess you got to figure out which one is the true love. Because you got two sitting on this table in front of me. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Gemini's is so cold. They don't care. They say, listen here. I done played it your way. Then I do it my way. I ain't mad at you, Gemini. Okay, and then you have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Gemini. I hope you're ready for it, Gemini. Because this is someone from your past. It don't even have to be one of these two people here. It don't have to be uh, either one of these. Okay, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I certainly hope to bring it to you. Bring, um, enjoyed bringing it to you. If you like my reading, please give me a thumbs up. That way YouTube will circulate the, the, my uh, channel and more people can view the, view the reading. Thank you so much.